City of Dearborn Heights averting a government shutdown tonight. The council passed a budget in the 11th hour at a special meeting held tonight. Jacqueline Francis is there and joins us live with how they got it done, Jacqueline. Well, it's no secret that the mayor and the city council chair do not see eye to eye, but tonight they put their differences aside mostly to pass this budget for the new fiscal year. Nobody wants to see the city go into a potential of uh, a uh, shutdown because, you know, a bunch of adults that love this community couldn't come together to find a reason to get the balanced budget. This is how Dearborn Heights City Council Chair Mo Beydoun opened the meeting. I don't believe in my heart that the administration wants us, and I can tell you, I can assure you that nobody on this council wants to see that as well. It comes three months after the first budget was proposed by the mayor and less than three days from the fiscal year deadline. Are you happy with this budget? Definitely not. Am I going to work with this budget? I think we should. Um, we have to work closely. Council members expressed wanting a more fiscally responsible budget than what the mayor proposed, saying they don't want to reach into their reserves. We have 50 patrol officers at the highest pay. City Council worked for three hours, dissecting the budget step line two, by step line. Three, step three, we're budgeting X amount of dollars. Step two, we're budgeting X amount of dollars. Step Making some cuts, like from police and fire overtime, as well as removing a few positions. Motion carries. After the budget was passed and the shutdown, down avoided, we asked Mayor Bill Bozzi his thoughts on the changes. Well, they made a lot of cuts that we have to go back and we probably have to amend it, amend the, the budget again, because some of the positions that they're asking to cut, if we go to somewhere outside, just to give you an example, the FOIA coordinator, you're paying that person close to like 60000 a year. If, if they eliminate the position, we have to go to an attorney that is actually does that stuff for us back in the day, and they're going to make like $140,000, $150,000 an hour. So. As you just heard there, there's already talk of amending this budget, but the big news tonight is that it passed and they avoided a government shutdown. Reporting live from Dearborn Heights City Hall, Jacqueline Francis, Local That's 4. That's great. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you.